All right, thanks so much, Francis. In the meantime, the premier of the Turks and Caicos addressed several issues this week, including announcing stricter immigration laws, which increase penalties for those who harbor illegal migrants. Our One Caribbean News, Deandra Hamilton, has details on that and more from the premier. Premier of the Turks and Caicos, Washington Mizek, held a national update on February 2nd to address several issues facing the country. The Premier announced that a bill would be debated in the House of Assembly. It was coming and designed to stiffen penalties for those harboring illegal migrants in the TCI. The penalties, he said, would include a person facing up to 14 years in prison and a $20,000 fine for breach of the law. So on Monday, an amendment to the immigration ordinance would be debated in the House of Assembly. It will stiffen the measures taken since this government taken the reins of government to assume uh, to deal with uh, illegal immigration. The focus is to stem the tide of illegal immigration and to propose increased penalties for harboring of illegals, employment and trafficking of illegals. Mizek further added that the ship rider agreement, which was made with the Bahamas for each country to help in border protection, would also be debated. There were hefty increases in financial support through the Department of Social Services. The premier said these boosts, which included up to $1,500 per month for families with three children, would help in the fight against the rising cost of living. Foster care used to be $120 per week. We are now increasing that to $300 per week. That's per child, referred to as social welfare, has recently moved from $120 a month to $800 per month per adult. Happy and proud to say that it will now include $500 per month per child for a maximum of three children. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.